Hey guys, I'm Ty Martin with MOA Rifles and Extreme Outer Limits. Today I wanted to go over programming the Zeiss Victory RF 10x42 binoculars. Now these are the range finding and ballistic solving binoculars. They come in a really nice box. When you open the box, the binoculars come in a carry case. Um, they come with a battery as well. They're located in the side of the box here. I'm gonna open up the carry case here. I'm going to going to install the battery in the front housing here. This just unscrews, the battery goes in, and the cap screws on behind it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when programming these is download the Zeiss hunting app. It's compatible with all iPhone and uh, Android devices. So download the Zeiss hunting app, and I would recommend logging in, creating a profile. So creating a profile is going to allow you to log into your account on any device. So let's say you lose your phone and you need to get into your account to sync ballistic settings into here, you can log in on anyone's iPhone or Android device and program your binoculars as needed. So after you open the app and, and make yourself an account and log in, the first thing you're going to want to do if you deal in yards and inches is click on the menu button in the top corner of the screen. It's going to have the three lines. You click on that and all the way at the bottom you'll see the settings gear icon. Click the settings gear icon and at the very top make sure your units are in imperial and make sure your language is in English and that should be it there. Now you want to go back so click on the menu button again, go back to the menu and now I'm going to add my ballistic profile first. So you want to click on the ballistics button. Once you're into ballistics, you want to click on the plus sign. It'll probably say add entry, or if you already have ballistic programs downloaded, you'll see the blue plus sign on the bottom of the screen, and that's going to be to add a new profile. So I'm going to click that button. At the very top, it'll ask you to name your profile. So this is a brand new 7PRC we just built, so I'm going to simply just name this 7PRC. Um, right underneath that, you're going to notice rifle scope. Um, I will leave the Zeiss rifle scope option turned on. If you are using a different rifle scope on this, you can simply add these products to your app. So to do that, you want to go back into the menu, go down to My Products, and you can add whatever product it may be. It'll ask for the brand and model of the scope. And you can add that to it. And in that case, you'd want to click Use My Products and click on that product that you added. So for today, we're using the Zeiss Conquest V6 3 to 18 by 50 rifle scope. So I'm going to leave that Zeiss rifle scope tab turned on. On the model, I'm going to click on that, scroll down to Conquest V6 3 to 18 by 50. Sight height. So this rifle today, it's a 30 millimeter main tube. Our sight height is 1.8 inches. I will just enter that in that box right there. My sight in distance is 100 yards. I'll leave that put. Now I'm going to scroll down to ammunition, and this rifle is shooting a factory load. It's, it's a 7PRC shooting the Hornady 175 ELDX. So I'm going to click factory load on brand. I will go scroll down and find Hornady. Click on that. Caliber. I'm going to go find the 7PRC. Click on that. And then the bullet choice, it's going to have the 7PRC 175 ELDX 175 and G7. And this rifle is shooting 2,925 feet per second. So I'm gonna put 29, 25 in there. And I just like scrolling back up and double checking everything. So I'll scroll back up, make sure my sight height is still correct at 1.8. Zero distance is correct at 100 yards. Everything looks good. So at the very bottom, I'm going to click continue. This section here, now that's just gonna update for your current location and weather data. So now keep in mind the binoculars are always compensating that for you, so don't be too concerned on this page. But if you do want to go into your app and put in different conditions to see how that affects your output, uh, feel free to do so. So at the bottom of that page, I'm going to click Save Profile. Now it's going to take you to a drop chart here, so at the very top you'll be able to click Table, and you can input different yardages and increments and scroll down and read the output in inches, MOA, mil, whatever you may choose. The table is pretty cool because you can look at the remaining energy and velocity at those distances and really study ballistics if you're into that. So at this point my ballistic program is saved in the app so I want to go back all the way out to the main menu till I get to the menu button. I want to go down to connected products because now it's time to connect the binoculars to the app so I can sync my profile to these binoculars. You're gonna to wanna to find Zeiss Victory RF. You'll have option to choose the thermal, thermal imagers and everything like that. But for today, we're running the Zeiss Victory RF. I'll click on that and you'll see a yellow connect button. Once you click the yellow connect button, it'll prompt you with directions on what to do. So this is the first time I've connected these binoculars to this phone. So I'm going to click the yellow connect button and I will hold down the set button 
until I see C-O-N in here. So just keep holding until you see C-O-N. Let off once you see it. It'll prompt you to click pair and you'll click the button over here to pair it. Now I'm connected. So you'll know you're connected when it says C-O-N-N -N inside your binoculars. And it'll also just give you an option to disconnect with a gray button on the app itself. So the first thing I wanna do here, you'll notice four gray boxes. The upper left gray box is going to say ballistics. So you wanna click on ballistics and you're gonna to wanna to add the new profile that you just created. So down below, you'll notice standard profiles you, with a blue star down there. You wanna make sure you don't have the blue star left on a standard profile because that's not gonna put the profile we just created in your binoculars. So it's important to add your new profile. I'm gonna find that, 7PRC. And it's important to click the white star to make it blue. The blue star indicates the profile that I'm dropping into these binoculars. So once that's blue, I will go back. The next option is result display. I will click on that. I like having my binoculars in range slash holdover MOA. I want the binoculars to give me the range and then the MOA I dial my scope to. Simple as that. So you'll go back again and go to my settings. I like turning the brightness all the way up. Units, I will put on yards and inch. And target mode, I want to leave on best target and button orientation, I will leave on factory settings. Now, if you are left-handed, you can change these settings to reverse settings to have your range button over here and your settings button on the opposite side. But I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna leave my range button where it's at. So factory settings it is. I will go back. I like double-checking my ballistics one more time just to make sure that blue star is still on the profile. I'll go back. So everything is set and programmed correctly now. All I have to do is scroll down you're gonna see two yellow sync buttons. The top button says sync app to product and the bottom button says sync product to app. So I'm syncing from my app to the product. So I'm simply just gonna click the yellow button, sync, it's gonna pop up and say sync was successful and I'm done. At this time, I'll go back up to the top of the page and disconnect the binoculars and I'm ready to go. So the phone's disconnected, the profile's in my binoculars now. I can simply range, dial, it's gonna give me my shoot to solution. I'm gonna dial to that number and I'm ready to go. So since it's in here, now the binoculars take over. I can leave my phone at home if I want to, go hunting. Binoculars are doing all the work for me and I'm ready to go. So that's how you program the Zeiss Victory RF binoculars. If you have any further questions, as always, feel free to call us at the office. It's 541-526-1820. To view more information and pricing on these binoculars, click the link below and visit our Extreme Store at www.extremestore.us.